good morning students i welcome you for the paper angiosperm taxonomy today we are going to learn the first topic systematics and classification of angiosperm why this plant systematics is important for angiosperm taxonomy as well as the classification that we are going to discuss in detail first in which systematics which is a key science its importance and relevance to conservation taxonomic structures species concept different types of a taxonomy and this taxonomy as a synthetic discipline how can be interpreted we are going in detail for this in the today's lecture so let's have a look first on what is plant systematics systematics is nothing but the introduction to morphology evolution and classification so this is the union of these three terminologies and in which traditional taxonomy involves dink that is a mnemonic device which involves description identification nomenclature and classification of a plant that results in reconstruction or discovery of phylogeny and it gives us evolutionary history in the past this can be studied by firstly through the description we can acquire the knowledge through the identification we can analyze the data and nomenclature and classification helps to synthesize the information about the plant now let's go the floral sorry this chart or tree diagram in which this taxonomy is a union of mnemonic device that is d i n c description nomenclature identification and classification in description what we have to do when we will get any material or any plant part any twig we have to assign the features or any type of a character to that plant so these features are nothing but the character this type of a enlisting of a character is nothing but the description which includes any vegetative character or any reproductive character for example we can use petal color petal shape its high habit its uh, height okay so this type of a parameters we can use for the description of that plant next to this is the identification this is process of uh, association of unknown taxon with the known one identification also recognize the unknown taxon which is new to science and it involves formal description and naming so this description is with the help of a dichotomous keys and you are familiar with the dichotomous keys that is with the help of a couplets of characters and this dichotomous keys gives you a description of plant and finally there is a binomial nomenclature is given to the plant so this is just outline for the dichotomous key in which the example is given that is garcinia commonly called as a kokum uh, commonly it is observed in kokan region so here the dichotomous key is based on the leaves its morphological feature coriaceous leaves and non coriaceous leaves afterwards this coriaceous leaves again with couplets 
couplets means two characters again considered for its uh, further classification or further species level identification so leaves with densely arranged veins again classified into the couplets of characters petioles color and that gives rise to the garcinia echinocarpa and garcinia harmony like that leaves which are loosely arranged densely arranged and loosely arranged these are the two couplets further these couplets are classified into the petiole and here the leaves same is applied for the non coriaceous leaves where again the leaves with intermarginal vein and strong marginal vein so dichotomous di means two at a time two characters are used again these two characters are classified into the remaining two formats third important step for the taxonomical uh, identification is uh, nomenclature nomenclature is nothing but the giving a name to taxa but this is with the help of a standardized system and in plants this is provided by international code for botanical nomenclature that is icb this standardized system gives only one scientific name to one plant and the credit goes for this binomial nomenclature goes to carl linnaeus for binomial nomenclature genus is capitalized and species epithet which is not capitalized but whenever it is in printed form it should be italic and when it is in written form it should be underlined then the next and the last step for the systematic study is the classification of this plant so arrangement of a taxa in same type of order is nothing but the classification and this gives a relationship between the entities or between the plants for that there is use of categories and that categories are the ranks these ranks are arranged again hierarchically right from family then genus species and so on so each rank is inclusive of all other ranks beneath it and this classification system are mainly of two type that is the phenetic and phylogenetic system i will go for the what is phenetic and what is phylogenetic system suppose we are with a any type of a drawer and in which we have kept all the materials which we required but when we go for any uh, hardware or any uh, shop the shopkeeper keeps all the things uh, keeps the similar things in a specific box and another similar thing in the similar box so here the same uh, criteria used for the phenetic classification system which uses the overall similarities between and among the taxa but in phylogenetic system this may or may not be similar this is only for efficacy of uh, organization as i told you the information of a shopkeeper who uh, keeps all the similar things in a specific drawer so this is only for efficacy so that he can give a uh, specific material easily to us but phylogenetic system gives us evolutionary history and the diagrammatic representation of phenetic classification system gives rise to the phenogram whereas the phylogenetic system diagrammatic representation results in cladogram or the cladistics so nowadays in phenetic system or only morphological characters were considered but in phylogenetic system we are nowadays going in detail for it uh, up to its molecular level these are the some references uh, for this study in the next lecture we go for the ranks or uh, species concept in which different types of uh, taxonomical branches we are going in detail thank you